welcome back to next uh, lecture of thermal engineering today we will discuss uh, from the second module the compounding of impulse turbines in the case of uh, simple impulse turbine the single stage may offer speed of the order of 30000 rpm which cannot be directly used for any engineering applications high speed shall induce large stresses in the blades and need to be reduced there are several methods of reducing the speed to lower value all these methods utilize a multiple system of rotor in series keyed on common shaft and the P steam pressure or jet velocity is absorbed in stages as the steam flows over the blades. This is called compounding of turbines. Now, in order to uh, reduce the speed of the turbine and to limit it within the allowable limits, what we do is the method of compounding. In method of compounding, uh, we expand the steam in stages or the kinetic energy of the steam is absorbed by the turbines in different stages. In various stages, it is absorbed or transferred to the turbine and work is done in stages. So, the different methods of compounding that we adopt. In, it is especially done in impulse turbines. First method is the velocity compounding. Second method is the pressure compounding. And third method is the pressure velocity compounding. Now we will discuss the velocity compounding. In velocity compounding, we a set of stage contains the following things that is a fixed nozzle then moving blade after that a fixed blade again a set of a row of moving blade now steam is expanded through a stationary nozzle from the boiler or inlet pressure to the condenser pressure so at this side it is the boiler pressure the steam is coming from the boiler and enters the nozzle and after that once the expansion or the kinetic energy transfer is done is over then it goes through the condenser through the stay so here is the condenser and here is the boiler that's what is explained in the first point the pressure in the nozzle drops and the kinetic energy of the steam increases due to increase in velocity. That is what happening here. In this, at this point inside the nozzle, the velocity of the steam increases when the pressure of the steam decreases in the nozzle. Okay. A portion of this available energy is absorbed by a row of moving blade. Then the steam moves to the moving blade. Moving blade. In moving blade, what happens is the velocity drops. That is, the velocity of the steam is getting transferred to the moving blade. So the as the kinetic energy transfer happens here, the moving blade will get sufficient velocity to rotate but the pressure remains constant throughout the set of blades as the steam flows over the uh, moving blade or even the fixer blade the uh, pressure remains constant steam then flows over the fixer blade which guides the steam to enter smoothly to next row of moving blade so after the first after leaving the first moving blade that is you can see over here this is the first moving blade it is arranged like this in shape 
and the next set of moving blade also is arranged in the same pattern. So in order to smoothly guide the steam to the next set of moving blade, a fixed blade is arranged in between. So the function of the fixed blade is to guide the steam to smoothly enter the next set of moving blade. So in the fixed blade, the degrees or the reduction in velocity is less and that reduction is due to the friction effect of while the steam moves over the surface of the fixed blade. There is a reduction is shown here but compared to the reduction in the moving blades that reduction is less. In the next set of uh, row of moving blades again work is done on on the uh, blades by the steam and it leaves the turbine with a lower velocity. So as it moves through from the next uh, fixed blade to the next moving blade its velocity reduces and work is again done on the turbine. In this method the transfer of kinetic energy from steam to blades takes place in various stages so that speed of the turbine can be maintained within the allowable limits. So thereby we are uh, transferring the kinetic energy from the steam to the uh, um, uh, turbine yeah, uh, in stages that is in the first stage is the first set of uh, first row of moving blade then in the second stage second set of moving blades though this method has advantages that the initial cost is low due to lesser number of uh, stages yet its efficiency is less compared to the next uh, discussing stages. Next we will discuss about the pressure compounding. In pressure compounding the turbine is divided into different various stages. One stage consists of a fixed, fixed nozzle and a row of moving blade. The next stage again a fixed nozzle row of moving blade and this is repeated and we get a numerous number of stages for the turbine and the number of staging is uh, designed uh, for a particular pressure reduction. Per pressure reduction means from the boiler pressure to the condenser pressure. So as the number of staging increases, the efficiency of the turbine also increases. The steam at boiler pressure enters the first uh, set of uh, nozzles and expands partially. So it enters over here and uh, expands partial. Partial expansion of steam takes place in the first uh, nozzle. Uh, the velocity increases and the pressure drops as you have already discussed earlier. The kinetic energy of the steam thus obtained is absorbed by the moving blade. Once it's a, it uh, moves over the moving set of moving blades, its kinetic energy is absorbed. That is, you can see here, over here the velocity reduces as it moves over the moving blade, but the pressure remains constant. Uh, in the case of uh, impulse turbine, the as the as the uh, steam moves over the moving blade, the expansion of steam won't take place. The steam then expands partially in the second uh, set of uh, fixed nozzle. As it moves over the fixed nozzle, its velocity again increases and the pressure drops. And when it moves over the moving blade, the pressure remains constant and the velocity decreases. Again, the same process is uh, repeated as it moves over the third stage. The number of stages or we can say the pressure reductions depends on the number of rows of nozzle through which the steam must pass. <laughs> this is the most efficient method of compounding since the speed ratios remains 
constant but it is expensive due to more number of stages this method is used in Rattu and Zoli turbines next we will discuss about uh, pressure velocity compounding in pressure velocity compounding the combination of pressure compounding and velocity compoundings are taken into consideration now here also like in the pressure compounding stages uh, the turbines are divided in turbine is divided into different stages one stage consists of a fixed nozzle moving blade fixed blade moving blade then the next stage starts with another nozzle moving blade fixed blade and a moving blade the total drop in steam pressure is divided into stages and the velocity obtained in each stage is also compounded so as i uh, as told earlier that the there is pressure compounding and velocity compounding happens happening in every stages the the velocity uh, the pressure is dropped in the nozzle and the velocity increases inside the nozzle and pressure uh, velocity drops in the moving blades and the fixed blades the rings of nozzles are fixed at the beginning of each stage and the pressure remains constant during each stage that is the pressure drops only in the nozzles and as it moves through the turbine stages what happens the pressure remains constant this method is used in cutis and mori turbines thanks for watching